It's going to sound like science fiction. It's not. For the first time ever, scientists were able to guide lightning to the ground using a laser. New at 6 o'clock, meteorologist Matt Gray is here to show you this technological breakthrough. Matt! This might be the coolest thing I've reported on, and I've done quite a few things in about 10 years in this business. Take a look at this picture. This shows lightning being directed along a laser beam for the very first time. This could be the biggest thing in lightning safety since, wait for it, Ben Franklin invented the lightning rod in the 1760s. Lightning rods, they've saved countless lives and property over the centuries, but they do have their limits. See, the taller you make a lightning rod, the more it can protect, but when it comes to things like sports stadiums, power plants, or the Spokane International Airport. You start talking about towers of impractical size. A thousand, two thousand, three thousand foot tall tower right next to an airport is not the best idea. But what if you could extend a traditional lightning rod using lasers? That is what a group of European scientists tried on a mountain peak in Switzerland. In the experiment, they pulsed this laser beam over the top of the radio tower on the mountain peak during thunderstorms. What the laser does is that it heats up the air that is passing through. This creates a path that conducts electricity better than the air around it. So during the experiment, the lightning took the path created by that laser between the thunderstorm cloud and the tower four separate times. Not only that, the path of lightning strikes around the mountain were closer to the tower when the laser was on than when the laser was off. Because of that laser, you ended up with an extra 200 feet around the tower that had more protection from lightning. So let's get one thing clear before we go any further with this. This laser, it's about the size of a car. It draws a lot of power. There's more experiments and a lot of laser technological development that's got to happen before your kids are going to get laser lightning protection at their soccer games. Okay, I agree. That might be the coolest thing he's ever done. <laughs> it was electrifying to say the oh, least, Matt. Oh, there it is. I, I if like it. If you agree it. with me, you're probably going to want uh, Matt's weather newsletter, The Brainstorm. If you'd like it, you can sign up on KXLY.com. He's doing a little dance. <laughs> <laughs> the Brainstorm with Matt Gray is awesome. You can get in-depth forecasting and discussions of the science behind the weather in your inbox every single week.